What's up guys, today's video is all about helping you get in shape when you're really, really busy. The reality is, most people are super busy. We're all going 100 miles an hour, you have a lot going on. You have work, family, you may have community obligations, you may have a business, you may have a side hustle. To really make it in today's world, you gotta hustle, and we all know that. So that hustle mentality is really, really prevalent. And that's a great thing because if you really want to see great success in your life, you're gonna to have to hustle. But when it comes down to it, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not taking care of your health and fitness, really doing yourself a disservice and really cutting down on the quality of your life. So we all know that doing some type of exercise or eating healthier is gonna be beneficial. and It's gonna help us in a lot of different areas, but I think the majority of people really struggle with making that work in their already hectic routines. So I'm here to give you some strategies because there's a ton of information out there on how to work out and what to do, but what most people struggle with is actually just getting there, is finding the time to even make that a daily part of their routine. I mean, most of us can go through a workout if we actually get to the gym, when we can follow a YouTube video and go through a workout, but if you're not doing that on a consistent basis, it's not gonna do you any good if you work out for one or two days and then you don't come back for two weeks. It's not really giving you any benefit. So my goal with this video is to help you get more out of the time that you're able to put in. Number one, really just being honest with ourselves with where we're maybe spending time that it's not as beneficial. If you really analyze your day, then you'll find that you do have some time. And it may not be every day. You know, there are gonna be some days and some people that do work 14, 15 hour days. But there's always something that you can do. So to maximize your results and to get the most out of your workouts, we wanna make sure we're focusing on the right things when we actually do get there. So we wanna do exercises and plan our workouts so you're going to be the most effective right because if you're already limited on time the last thing you want to do is go to the gym and spend three hours just kind of guessing what you should do and maybe doing things that aren't even going to be that beneficial for you so if you're not really sure what to do a good place to start is you want to start with the basics your big compound movements those are going to give you the most bang for your buck you're going to burn a lot more calories you're going to use a lot more muscle so if you don't have a lot of time, compound movements are gonna be multi-joint movements, like a squat, a deadlift, a bench press, a pull-up. Now, maybe you're not strong enough to, to do some of those or you don't have the flexibility or the know-how to do them, so you can always start with beginner versions, whether it's a bodyweight squat or a bodyweight lunge, and build up to more advanced movements. But, using compound movements and using exercises where you're gonna get a lot of energy expenditure in a shorter amount of time is gonna be really, really helpful and you'll be able to get a lot more out of a lot less time. Another option is hiring a trainer so you don't have to think about anything. So you can hire a coach online or you can hire somebody in the gym if you have the resources to do that that can be a really great option especially if you're really busy you don't really want to have to think about what you have to do you can find a lot of great trainers out there and that can be really helpful but that's not always an option for everyone so if you're not able to to do that then you will have to take a little bit, it will be a little bit more difficult. You will have to put a little bit more time into researching. That's the reason we have YouTube channels that show you workouts and give you things that you can do so you can do that on your own. Another big problem and the reason it's hard for a lot of people to get in shape, especially when they're busy, is they're taking one step forward and taking two steps back. And what I mean by that is, 
they may be working out, they may be putting that time in the gym, maybe putting more time in the gym than they actually need to, but they're destroying that with poor diet choices and poor nutrition. And a lot of it comes to just eating for convenience. So if you find yourself in that category, you know, realize it doesn't have to be perfect immediately, but start making healthier choices. Start by you know, eating less processed food. That's always a good start. So you wanna cut back on the processed foods, on the really calorie dense foods. So fast food, like, let's cut that out. You don't need to eat fast food. No matter how much of it, how much of a rush you're in, there's always gonna be healthier options. You can snack on nuts, you can snack on fresh fruit or fresh vegetables. It's not gonna be as fulfilling as getting that fast food, but you're gonna feel a whole lot better. You'll have more energy and it's gonna make a lot more sense long-term than you know spending three hours in the gym just to burn off that burger that you just ate. So a lot of it is just trying to do less damage so you don't have to spend as much time working out, right? So if you're eating nothing but junk every day, then you're gonna have to work a lot harder. And it's not even, even if you're working as hard as possible, if you don't have a good diet and good diet choices, then it's gonna be really hard for you to get the results that you want. So to make this happen, just like anything, you wanna, you wanna have a solid game plan, a game plan for success. So realistically, look at your day and your week and dedicate that time, whether it's a half an hour or an hour, and make sure you, you devote that to either going to a gym or working out at home and doing something that's effective and pay attention to how you're feeling throughout those movements and how you feel after and establish that as a, as a habit moving forward. So the key to longevity with fitness is making it enjoyable for you, something that you don't dread doing. Of course, there's, there's gonna be days where you, you really don't feel like it, and that's where you have to, that's where it's gonna take a little bit more willpower, but when you can get through those days and you have a system that works for you that's really enjoyable for you, that's gonna be the key to long-term success. Hey, if you've seen value in this video so far, go ahead and hit a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be providing weekly videos to give you the strategies for success inside and outside the gym. It's all about building habits and creating the best possible environment for your success. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in one day gonna have to make some sacrifices and that's the reality is if you want to achieve anything we, there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of distractions and you kind of gotta have that tunnel vision so the greater the accomplishment the more sacrifices you're gonna have to make so if we want to continue to make daily improvements we have to focus our energies and efforts on what's working for us and really be mindful and aware of our perspective and the way we look at our reality. It's all about your perspective. You can look at your situation as a blessing or a curse. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to hear your results, how you're making change, how you are making an impact, how you're getting better each and every day. Share your story below and if you're just getting started, hey that's okay. Just uh, comment below, I want to make a change. I want to get better. Welcome to the community. Let's uh, make some great things happen today.